You're on the best of the morning. <laughs> Barnes, Leslie, and Jimmy. 99X. Uh, you obviously spend a lot of time in this character. Do you think uh, Mulder is a good FBI agent? He's the worst. Yeah. Um, we, we've done about 200, I think 213 or 218 episodes. Yeah. And uh, he has solved nary a case. <laughs> Barnes, Leslie, and Jimmy. David Duchovny. Hey, David. Good morning. Before you uh, were an actor, I mean, you were a very uh, educated, uh, highly educated uh, gentleman. You uh, was at Princeton. You went to Princeton. Yeah. And we're only uh, like a hair away from getting your PhD before you went into acting. When you tell your mom or dad that you're, you know, you're leaving school that close to getting the PhD to become an actor, how does that go over? Well, um, not well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah really. I'm guessing, mom. I'm taking after, a hard turn right. After they yeah. spent how much money on your education and well, you know. well, the deal is that at at the point that I made that decision, I was probably 25 so it's not like an 18 year old doing it so you know mom and dad have less to do with my life at that point anyway so it wasn't like you know i'm joining the circus mom at the age of 16. hey david what was it like for you the very first time you saw yourself on the big screen it was horrifying i mean it just it just makes you so self-conscious well what do you think is uh like let's say your worst physical feature that 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 you, you think stands yeah, out like when you see yourself you'll say God, I, I don't like that at all. Um, where do where do you begin? Uh, it's like, uh, what do I always look at? I, I, I had an eye injury, so I'm always looking at like the difference in my eyes. Were you completely comfortable doing a romantic lead? Uh, yeah. I mean, I, it's just you know you, you just get comfortable in the part, and then just empty out all the paranoia and the kind of cynicism that you you get in this life and playing a part like Mulder. So that sure. was, it was like a vacation. You're talking about how, uh, in this article I read about how, like, when you're doing the X-Files, it's like 70-hour work weeks. Well, what is, I'm not that smart. What does 70 hours translate into? Oh, man. Uh, hey. 10 a day. What, what, what depends how many days a 14, week you're working. 14. 14. 14 hours a day. Yeah, a that's about day? Right. 14 a day. Okay. Uh, on a movie set, is it is it as grueling? Uh, no, not at all. I mean, most movies, uh, unless they've got real budget limitations and you're just trying to, you know, kick ass and do it really quickly, you don't work more than 12. And, and the difference between 12 and 14 is huge. And there's, like, a lot of downtime uh, on a movie set. What yeah. kind of stuff do you do in your trailer or what kind of things will you do to preoccupy? I mean, will you shoot hoops? Will you, Answer what do you email. Do? What do you do? It, well, <laughs> I don't do any of that computer stuff. So, so <laughs> you're still scared of that, huh? Uh, I'm a little afraid, and uh, but I do write on the computer, but that's it. And uh, well, we we're in Chicago shooting, and, and for about a week we were shooting at, at this restaurant, which was right next to a school that had a school a schoolyard in it that uh, kids were playing stickball in. So I got to play stickball like for hours for about a week. Oh, you just jumped in, jumped in the game. Hey, mom, there's some guy David Duchovny yeah, playing with that's, us. That's pretty much what happened. Mm -hmm. Too many X-Files conspiracies on the uh, internet. Hey, did you ever see that video that was uh, roaming around for the David Duchovny Why Don't You Love Me song? Yeah, the, these guys over at uh, that work uh, for the company that produces the X-Files, they made it. So yeah, they, they kind of made it as a joke for me. And then uh, You gotta be flattered by that song, although it must have freaked you out a little bit. Uh, I thought it was really funny, and I thought, you know, most of all, I just thought it was a really good tune. Ever get caught sitting tune? at a light singing it? I did. I got. I you know when I first got, I first got it, and I didn't know that it was ever going to be released. So I just thought it was just uh, you know a song that some woman had written and recorded. And a friend of mine brought it to my attention because he had been doing this this country music uh, film, and somehow this song came across his desk, and he gave it to me. And I was listening to it in my car really loud one day because I I thought it was really funny, and I was I was flattered by it. I thought, oh, I got my own song. Your own little ego booster. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, when I was down, I'd, I'd, I'd just pop in that little song. And one time I was listening to it, and at that time I had a convertible, and, and, and I was like, oh, no, i got to take this off because somebody is going to bust me. Yeah, that would be very embarrassing. <laughs> because God, top down, you're yeah. like, David, Duca oh, hey, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, that's me. Like, right. That's me. Well, you always, you know, whenever you get the big ego, you can always go home because I guess that's where, that's where any guy with an ego gets cut at the knees, right? Like any ego you have... Uh, and you were talking about uh, in an interview once where, like, now that you have a kid, um, you're you're the third man in the house. Number three. Right. Number three and fallen. The dogs are uh, above me right now. Right. What kind of dogs do you have? Two mutts. Two mutts. Are you uh, are you real active like with humane society kind of things? And are you an animal guy? I am. I am a little a little with Peta. 
Thanks, David. All right, thank you. David Duchovny. This is the Morning X. The best of the Morning X. 99X.